What's up, do you even blog drive on YouTube? Today I have a monetization experiment that I'm literally just gonna let you kind of look over my shoulder as I do it almost live. And I'm gonna actually see how quick it takes me. You can see my timer right here. I got my meta hat. I am good to go. I'm gonna hit play on this bad boy. And let me explain the idea. I have been wanting to buy this book and read this book, Breakthrough Advertising, for ages, ages. It's one of the best marketing books of all time. According to everybody who's read it, there's lots of social proof. Everybody's always talked about it. Several of my podcast guests have already talked about it. There's just one mega huge problem, and that is it costs hundreds of dollars. This is actually the cheapest it's ever been. Apparently, it used to be 300 to 400 which would blow my mind, but even now at like $125, that's why I haven't bought it yet. I know that's part of the sales and marketing of it, but I still want to read it. And so I had this idea, well, what if I could somehow subsidize the cost of this book, add value to other people, and maybe make a little bit of profits at the same time? Then I was like, ding, 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 a book club. So I'm going to start a product right here. I'm going to launch a product to my list and hopefully less than like 10, 12, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know how long it'll take. And see if I can subsidize the cost of buying the book plus a little bit more for me and also give my audience value in return. So I am going to do this live right now. I haven't done any prep work for this. I have not written any copy. I have not created a product. I haven't sent an email. I haven't done anything. I have not done a single thing. So I'm just gonna do it live right here. I'm gonna create a product. I'm in Thrivecart. I am going to call it create product digital. Let's call it DYEB book club breakthrough advertising. Uh, do that, I'm gonna make it live. I play loose, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to test, we're good. Oh, uh, you guys must have a URL. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's do BA, there we go. It was giving me errors, BA. Next, set up pricing, how much do I wanna charge? I literally have not thought about this until right now. I'm gonna just do 20 bucks. Quantity, no, I don't really care. Uh, one time payment, 20 bucks, one purchase at a time. Good to go. Customize invoice, yada, yada. I think we're good here. No bump offers. No, 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 none of that. Processors, we'll do Stripe and PayPal. That's good. We'll come over here, affiliates. Nope, no affiliates. Support URL will be my email address. I want to display their invoice. Yep, that'll be good. I'll customize that thank you page. And a second, let's go with standard here. I'm gonna edit my cart. Again, I'm trying to keep this super, 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 super simple. Let's do sidebar position, customer name. Let's do enabled customer name. Let's do first plus last. Business address, contract address. Uh, let's do abbreviated. I gotta get their zip code in there, add custom fields, terms and conditions. I'll link to my legal page right here, done. First, last name, there's the payment, breakthrough advertising, do a coupon code. I'm not gonna show this, so let's go hidden. There's no coupons. Let's go with like a little bullet, bullet points right here. Uh, you will, you'll get my uh, video. I'm gonna do a video walkthrough of every chapter. Video summary of each chapter. You'll get my full annotated notes. Note, you won't actually be receiving the book. That'd be illegal of me. Okay, next, credit card payment. Although this is like a two-step payment thing. Should I do this two-step or one-step? I think that's probably good, right? Credit card, PayPal. Yep, done. Complete. All right, so I wanna have, okay, cool. What's that heading here? Awesome, you're in. Here's what happens next. Uh, let's do bullet points. Nothing is going to come to you right this second. When the book arrives and I start reading it, which I'll do when it arrives, I'll send you an email update. Until then, just chillax and I'll be in touch. All right, that's it. Good to go there. Total 20 bucks, download PDF. Here's what happens next. Okay, cool. So I got that complete. I have got my product right here. Next, tracking. No, I'm not gonna do any tracking. Checkout, add rules. I do wanna add them to my email list. Add them to my email list. And then I also want to add a tag, which I'm actually gonna come in here and create a tag. Let's do a experiment, do a book. Club. I am just gonna go ahead and create this draft and I'll come back and finish it in a minute. Let's do that. Let's do, no one has opted in the past seven days gets this email. Past seven days, 
Let's go ahead and come over here to the email. Breakthrough advertising book. I kind of want a picture of this. I think I, I already have a screenshot of that. By the way, this is like $300 on Amazon if you want to buy it. I don't know why. People could just order it straight from the publisher by the guy who owns the copyright to that book, but whatever. All right, so BYEB. I'm gonna come back and change this in a minute. <laughs> uh, okay, well, screw it. Let's just, that's taking too long for me. I don't have any patience for that. I'll come over here and add this tag. Contacts, I think it's under contacts. Contacts, tags, and then I'm gonna, once that's done, this will actually be good to go. I'll come back over here and write the email, hit send, and then I'm good to add a little bit of sales, copywriting, and done and done. Seven minutes so far, no problemo. All right, manage tags. So let's do purchased, purchased DYAB book club uh, breakthrough. Let's do that. All right, let's go back over to Thrivecart. Let's go to add a rule here. I want to add an existing tag. I'm gonna do go down to purchased. Breakthrough, breakthrough, DYAB book club breakthrough. There we go, save. Cool. So now technically we are done, right? Copy that URL, come over here. This is what it's gonna look like. There's no, there's no image. DYEB book club breakthrough advertising, 20 bucks. You'll get my video summary of each chapter. You'll get my full annotated notes. You won't actually be receiving the book. That'd be illegal of me. First name, this is okay. Got this over here, continue to payment. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. So here is what we're gonna do. I am going to just do this live. I'm gonna duplicate this. Uh, my online impact members are going to get this for free. So I'm gonna make this a note to them, make conditional. If you're on my email list and you're not an online impact member, then you won't see this. Uh, tag exist, online impact. All right, and I'm gonna like make this background a little bit different color. So right now, we'll show if online impact tag is good. Okay. Hey, online impact family. Only you can see this part of the email. You do not need to buy this stuff below. You'll get in for free because you're an Alliant member and just awesome like that heart. And let's write some sales copy here for the people. This email was totally sent on a whim, but thought some of you might really benefit from this, dot, dot, dot. There's a book called Breakthrough Ad by Eugene Schwartz. Is that how you spell that guy's name? I have no idea. Uh, that right there. Yeah, I think I did it right. And it's been talked about a ton on my podcast. Apparently, one of the best marketing sales books ever written. And I'm gonna insert that picture. I, I took a screenshot of it earlier, image. And that right there. Just one problem. The book costs hundreds of dollars. So here's my offer. Here's my one-time offer. This is literally only available today, Monday. January 25th, 2021, until Eastern time. $20, DYAB book club, 20 bucks. And then I will come down here and be like, here's what you get. First, I'll buy the book and start reading it. Second, I'll make detailed annotated notes as I go through. Third, I'll make a short uh, video summary for each chapter, complete with notable examples, my takeaways, etc. 
you pay me $20 and you'll get all the videos and notes. What you think? If this is something you're interested in, click here to join the book club. And then that is where we're gonna link. So I'm actually gonna grab this URL right here. This image thing just is not working. Oh, it's so frustrating to me. It's active campaign's fault. It makes me absolutely furious. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and do this. Three steps here. Let's go ahead and make that a thingy. Oh, this is ugly. Okay, I'm on the computer. Do, do, do. All right. I'm trying to select this entire row and I literally can't do it. Active campaign is like the worst. It really is. Not just saying that. You saw me bump up that font size to 20 and look what happened. It's ridiculous. 22. Thank you. Thank you. Select the whole thing. All right. I'll put in the link there. Click here to join the book club. Actually, let's put in a... Uh, okay. This is your shot to get all the juicy takeaways from this legendary marketing book without taking the time to read the whole thing and spend hundreds of dollars. Sweet, eh? Sweet, right? This is totally a one time thing I'm offering today only. I won't be doing it again. So grab it ASAP before uh, midnight tonight, 1.25. Ciao, sorry, not sorry for the early week sales email lol okay so this image sucks what is going on i'm gonna download this just really quick give me a second download this to my thing let's like let's see what is going on here man add an image let's go with add new image downloads that's it right there it'll hopefully load up in here i'll find it Active campaign is so messy when it comes to this sort of stuff. Oh, that one worked. All right, cool, much better. Delete this thing, delete, yes. Oh, nope, it didn't work. That's unbelievable. Active campaign. Oh, it's the worst, so bad. Oh, active campaign is the worst. It is so bad. That is really frustrating to me. I don't really know what to do there. I really want a picture there. Okay, well, screw it. This is an exercise in experiments. There we go. So let me read over this and yeah, let's just copy this. Let's come in here. Let's just put in this bad boy right here. Cool. Come down here. Deletes. Uh, let's change the subject line. Subjects. Okay, so this, I got my thing in here. Book club, breakthrough advertising. Here's what you get. First, I'll buy the book and start reading it. Note, you don't actually get the book. That'd be illegal of me. Select all. I really can't select all because this is an active campaign and they're garbage. 
So I'm just going to click here to join the book club. Um, let's... There we go. So we'll go over here. Let's go ahead and link that. Uh, nope, that's not right. Copy URL. All right. Channel, sorry, not sorry for the early weeks. I'm gonna click that. Okay, so. Okay. All right, so I'm actually just going to, I can't believe those images won't work. All right, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Cool. $20 and today only. Well, that's weird. What is going on? Okay. There we go. Boop. Let's put it in that night. All right, so let's go to the preview just to make sure we're good. What time am I at? This is gonna be a long YouTube video. 20 minutes? Oh, I'm so close. Okay, so I just gotta click this and make sure this stuff works, right? Uh, that worked. I have no idea how this is gonna work. It looks like the link worked, right? I don't need to check these links. Do I need to check these links? I think I do. Give me 30 seconds, and then I'll send. And I'm actually just gonna sit by my inbox and see if anybody buys those right away. <laughs> there we go. That one looks good, that one looks good. Okay, we're good. I can't believe I can't insert an image. I'm gonna try one more time. Is it too big? Is that what we're looking at here? No, it's a tiny image. Adjust size. With the well, maybe it is kind of big. Let's try that. Uh, no, let's try even smaller. 800. Whoop. Save. All right, let's try this again. Image. VA. Last, last chance here. It's gonna work. I got a feeling. All right, so you gonna go away or you gonna work? It looks like it works, guys. Oh, that's so much better. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Watch this. Duplicate this content block, and everything from here down is going to be deleted. All right, and then this one is this. Cool. And so this little thing is going to go right here. All right, so there's my thing here. And this is going to be a border, so a one pixel border. Yeah, that's good. And this is gonna have a little bit of a padding. Uh, just do a double check. You guys thought this was gonna take me like five minutes, but I wanted to make it pretty. Uh, formatting, it makes a big difference. And this this draws my point. This is the pain point. I think that's my big takeaway here is like this image right here was worth it because this draws the pain point. No one wants to spend $125 on a book. It's crazy. Uh, me either, by the way. So uh, let's just hit send and see what happens. Next, this is gonna be okay here. Um, yep, send, send. All right, I'm gonna like hang out and wait for the sales. I'm gonna hit my timer right here, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. By the way, it's 11:31 a.m. right now. We'll see how long sales come in. So, just an update. It's been 10 minutes since I hit send, and it still has not sent yet. <laughs> It's still in the process of sending, so uh, we'll double back. The next day. All right, fam, so I sent that email yesterday. I had some sales roll in. Let's hop over, see the results, and maybe just present a few takeaways that I had. So a few people bought it, this little book club idea, for 260 bucks gross revenue. This uh, 13 people, if I did my math correctly. And as soon as I hit 140, which is how much it cost to buy the book, and plus shipping, I went ahead and bought it, because I knew I was gonna do this anyways. Uh, the email had a 25% open rate, which is about average. A 30, 31 contacts clicked. A 0.69% click rate, which is terrible for me. Uh, and terrible for anybody, I think. That's a really, really, really low click rate considering I was actually promoting something. Let's talk about some takeaways from this little experiment. 
The number one takeaway I have is to experiment, first of all. I don't think anybody was mad at me for sending a sales email on a Monday that I didn't announce and that I didn't prepare people for, and it's like a weird, silly product that I've never done before. It's a complete experiment for me, for everybody involved. And I said that in the email, which I think is very important. I am happy with the sales, $260, mostly because I get to read the book now for free and then some. And I was gonna take notes on it anyways. Now I'm gonna do like a little video. This will help me digest the content of the book better. And it'll also provide value for these people who bought it, I think, immense value. They don't have to read the book, etc. You guys get that. But I will admit, I'm a little bit disappointed in the results. I thought more people would be interested in this. I thought it would be more along, I didn't think there was gonna be thousands of dollars, even though I have several thousand people on my email list. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna be that big, but I thought it would at least hit like 500 or like 700, 800 bucks in gross revenues. I thought I would get like 20, 30 people and I didn't. I got, what was that, 13? Why, if I had to guess, one, it is experimental. It is a new thing. I've never done it before. It is hard to make sense of. It's not like a very clear problem. And it's also a book that a lot of people in my audience probably haven't even heard about. I can understand why there may not have been that many people in there. If you know anything about the adoption curve, like the innovators, the early adopters, like the, the middle people and like the laggards. I don't know if you guys are in startup world, you've seen that before. But the point is, only people on my audience who are like the really early adopters who are willing to take a chance with anything, they're the ones that sign up for these products where I'm just like, hey, I had this idea, like help me validate it. I didn't even buy the book yet before I sent the email, right? Only the early adopters, a very small percentage of the people. Now, if I did this again, three months from now with testimonials from these 13 people and social proof. And now I can make the content a little bit better. And now it's like this official course and I charge more money for it. I guarantee I could make a couple thousand dollars if I did this again. I'm not gonna do that because it was a one-time thing and I don't care to. One more takeaway I had was the pricing. Earlier in this video, you saw me just go like, ah, uh, 20 bucks, let's just slap a price tag on it. I think that might actually be the worst price. I think if I dropped it to 15 or even like $10, I actually would have made more money. I feel like, because that would be even more of a gamble. People would be like, I'd never even heard of this book, but it's $11, oh, screw it, why not? Like, that's eh, worth a shot, see what he comes up with, right? $20 is right in that middle range of like, eh, it's 20 bucks. I mean, that's not a lot of money, but I don't even know what this book is, I'm not gonna buy it, right? On the other hand, if I had priced it higher, let's say $99, I know that's like quite a jump, that's literally like five times higher. I think I still would've made way more money. And the reason is, these early adopters, the 13 people that bought it, Maybe not all 13 of them, but a large majority of those people would have just as well paid $99 as $20, right? Those are the people that get it. They've heard of the book before. They know me and trust me. Those are my early adopters. Those are my like most loyal fans. They would have paid hundred bucks for it. So, and I alone had to sell three. Three people at least would have paid for that and I would have made more money. 99 bucks. I don't know if it's actually worth $99 because I've never done this before, but I think even charging like $10 for it would have made more money. I do. I think twenty dollars is right in that sweet spot of like, ah, eh, twenty bucks. Eh, I'm just gonna pass this time. But it's eleven dollars. Just like, yeah, take my money. Or if it's ninety nine dollars, you'd be like, oh, I really want that. Maybe fewer people, but would have made more money. So those are my takeaways. I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment that I ran. I am now going to wait patiently for the book to arrive and do the notes and the videos and make the course and, and deliver it to people. I just thought this was an interesting experiment. All right, so go check out these other YouTube videos up here on monetization and, and sales. And I got a bunch of good stuff on the YouTube channel. Hashtag YouTube, hashtag subscribe, comment, like, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.